Is this frequency open? Is this frequency open? CQ, 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 WX0, MIK, Whiskey X-Ray 0, Mike India Kilo. CQ, 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 WX0, MIK. Welcome to a bonus edition of the Mike Wills Podcast. <clears throat> this is the Dog Days of Podcasting uh, for, oh man, I don't even know what day it is, August 28th, 2019. <clears throat> I am uh, WX0MIK, and uh, I decided to create this little uh, bonus podcast here because I keep on forgetting to include it in the regular show. <clears throat> So, um, I don't know what we can do with, quote, bonus points or bonus whatever. Part of me wants to reach out to Jay Langjens and ask, uh, hey, you know, can we add some bonus points to your whole uh, thing? <clears throat> but um, where I'm get going with this is at the beginning of each episode and at the end of each episode, there's some Morse code. So, by now, I should have covered every single thing that is in that Morse code, whether you realize it or not. Now, I have not directly stated what Morse code is in there or what's being used, but it is in there. So, the competition, so to speak, I mean, it's just a friendly thing and leave it at that. I don't know. But the competition is, what is that Morse code? What is it spelling out? Like I said, it's all been covered. If you, you can take some pretty good guesses and uh, probably get really close. <clears throat> but um, I did want to include that in this whole thing. And I decided to wait towards almost the bitter end because now I've covered it all. So the question becomes then is, what is it? Try not to cheat. Um, If you know Morse code, and of course I won't know that one way or the other, but if you know Morse code, uh, please don't uh, compete because that would be extremely easy. Um, Yeah. In fact, I gotta figure, remember what exactly I put in there too, because I I know what's in there. I don't remember exactly what's in there. I think I've written down somewhere here yet. <clears throat> so that is the competition, um, and I'll get probably better inspired here later on. <clears throat> but I uh, started to come up. I started to think about next year and (coughs) A, how I can keep learning myself and B, how I can um, do another show. I have a feeling it's going to be more work than I want to (coughs) do, but talking Morse code, um, I love to hear your feedback about how to, about um, their thoughts on covering uh, Morse code nec- next year. Um, we can use this, uh, I can use this program to kind of say, okay, this is what, for instance, um, this is what K sounds like, this is what M sounds like, those are two in this one I just re- heard recently. <clears throat> so you say, this is K, and then this is uh, M, and then you um, you repeat that a few times, and then uh, the software will do two um, minutes worth of CW. The intention is you are sitting down at a piece of paper and you're writing down each and every single letter to kind of instill it into your memory. 
Now, I don't know if it works. I maybe put in a couple other tips that I have heard from other areas along the way. But two characters at A, um, 26 characters, will cover you about half the month. And then we can start practicing even maybe some simple words or something. I don't know. Uh, tell me your thoughts. And I started a brand new Twitter account so you can both send both of those pieces of information. <clears throat> so I start, my uh, Twitter account, I'm still working on setting up, is WX0MIK. So you can tweet me at WX0MIK, Whiskey X-Ray Zero Mike India, Char uh, not Charlie, Mike India Kilo. I like to say Charlie for some reason. I'm not sure. <clears throat> And um, let me know. We can um, go from there. But I'm thinking that actually could be kind of interesting. I do want to learn at least some basics. I am not sure I could get faster than maybe five words a minute or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. But um, it's something that is worth uh, at least... Uh, researching more so um i think we'll leave this up at at this point here and uh, another regular episode tonight to wrap up um uh, radio frequency interference and i think grounding might have been in there too so we'll cover that and i think there's one other topic after that so we're getting really close and cutting it right to the end. So we're sitting pretty darn good overall. Um, yeah, and I got a, repo a post last night because it got late on me. So I got to edit and wrap that one up. Uh, kind of a fun one, actually. And I'm actually listening to the Hurricane Net on HF right now. Um, and it's... Uh, it's hard to hear in many cases. Sometimes you only hear half the conversation. And that's all due to propagation and everything. But it's kind of interesting. And it's not something you normally get to hear. So, um, I, and make sure to check out those links I post on the website because uh, that will give you some more information. And you can do it right now. You don't have to wait. So I will uh, wrap it up here, and um, I will talk to you later tonight. So this is WX0MIK. The frequency is now clear. The frequency is clear. WX0MIK. 73.